close Democratic Senator Bob Menendez talks about battling corruption charges and criticizes Republican opponent Bob Hugin in a June 4, 2018 interview. Herb Jackson, Washington correspondent, at Herb Nike Democrats remain confident of Menendez win despite the primary surprise U.S. Senator Cory Booker's recorded testimonial for, my partner, fellow New Jersey Sen. Bob Menendez pulsed with conviction and enthusiasm, and he is a colossus when it comes to making things happen for our state, Booker said in a robocall message on Sunday. It seems the Colossus was knocked off stride Tuesday by a political gadfly. Instead of celebrating Menendez's primary victory with 62% of the vote, New Jersey Democrats are evaluating and downplaying the political damage inflicted by second place finisher Lisa McCormick, a little known Union County activist and community newspaper publisher who captured 38% of the vote despite having Instead reveling in the long-awaited blessing of the rank and file, Menendez was faced with an internal party protest, perhaps a measure of lingering unease about having the survivor of a federal criminal corruption probe sitting at the top of the Democratic ticket this fall. And it may also reflect rank and file discontent with the party swift coalescing around Menendez, which virtually locked out possible stronger challengers for the nomination, an echo of the complaint voiced against Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential nomination. That anger gave rise to U.S. Bernie Sanders' anti-establishment candidacy. Menendez, who is seeking his third full term, is set to face Republican Bob Hugin, a wealthy, former pharmaceutical executive from Summit. About 1% of those of who voted for Lisa McCormick had any ideas of who she was or what she was, said Patrick Murray, the Monmouth University pollster. It was obviously a protest vote against having a nominee who they aren't thrilled with, indeed, Democratic Party leaders, from Booker to Gov. Bill Murphy to county chairman, have been in lockstep solidarity behind Menendez since he survived an 11-week corruption trial that ended in a hung jury last November. Federal prosecutors then dropped the rest of the case after a judge said the government failed to provide evidence that more than $600,000 in campaign contributions from donor and longtime friend Solomon Melgin were bribes. And that solidarity remained steadfast even in April, when the Senate Ethics Committee severely admonished Menendez. The committee said Menendez broke Senate rules for accepting as well as vacations at resorts, while advocating Melgan's personal and business interests. Yet, despite Menendez's institutional advantages, running as Democrat amid an anti-Trump wave and a 900,000 advantage in Democratic Party registrations, Republicans believe McCormick's surprise is only an early sample of the larger surprise to come this fall. The senator's opponent had no money and was virtually unknown, yet got nearly 40% of the vote and won six. Of 21 counties across the state, that is unheard of, said Megan Puiwar, Hugin spokeswoman. We absolutely want those frustrated Democrats to know that Bob Hugin will be an independent voice who puts New Jersey first, and we would welcome their support. Menendez's legal troubles are already serve as centerpiece to a series of Hugin's attack ads released this spring. Is a disgrace. New Jersey deserves better than Bob Menendez, intones the narrator of one huge in ad. Menendez's defenders acknowledge argued that those ads over the past month may help explain McCormick's stronger-than-expected showing. But they say huge and essentially got a free pass this spring since Menendez chose not to spend money responding with his own counterattack, which boils down to this, that Bob Hugin, Donald Trump donor and a Trump delegate to the Republican National Convention. be rubber stamp Trump's right-wing agenda if elected. Trump is deeply unpopular in New Jersey, Senator Menendez's opponent has been on television over the last five weeks. He spent five million dollars in unanswered attacks. That's going to make a little bit of a difference, said Brendan Gill, a Democratic consultant. I think people start to compare and contrast the two candidates, which you are going to see. 
more in the general election season, I have no doubt that Senator Menendez will be victorious. Menendez also intends to neutralize the ethics issue by targeting Hugen as a rapacious Big Pharma CEO. In interviews, Menendez blasts Eugen's record at Celagene, especially the he company's increases in the price of cancer drugs, its efforts to thwart the production of cheaper generics, and a $280 million settlement of a whistleblower lawsuit alleging the firm improperly marketed some drugs. That record will be part of the media campaign in the fall, we haven't spent on television yet, because every dollar saved during a primary will go much farther during the general election and we can't allow Bob Hugen to go to Congress and cast a vote for Donald Trump against New Jersey values, said Michael Solomon, a Menendez political advisor. Democrats also point out McCormick's 158,000 votes was roughly 9,000 less than Hugen's total. And, they note, that Menendez's 260,000 votes exceeded the combined results of Hugen and another Republican candidate, Brian Goldberg, a construction company owner. Mikey Sherrill Factor Still, some Democrats privately fretted Menendez could be a drag on Democratic congressional candidates running in tight races this fall. Menendez's performance in some key areas was underwhelming. Although the totals are small, McCormick captured 60% of the vote in Hunterdon, which part of the 7th Congressional District, where Tom Malinowski, a former Deputy Secretary of State under President Obama, is trying to unseat incumbent Leonard Lance. McCormick's surprising finish pointed to potential trouble spots for Mikey Sherrill, the former U.S. Navy helicopter pilot and federal prosecutor from Montclair who handily won the Democratic nomination in the 11th Congressional District. She will square off against Republican Jay Weber, a veteran state legislator. The district includes parts of Sussex County, which McCormick won. And while Menendez carried Morris County, the core of the district, McCormick garnered 43% of the vote. At her campaign victory party Tuesday night, Cheryl Duck questions about the possible risks of having Menendez top the ticket this fall. Asked if she now considered Menendez an obstacle in her election, she replied, You know this is really about the 11th district and how we move forward. So, I think voters here care very much about the things I've outlined, quality, affordable health care, a tax plan that invests in the middle class, and getting the Gateway Tunnel funded. In his taped message, Booker says, this election, the stakes are higher than ever. After Tuesday, the hurdles for Menendez also got a little higher. Reader share the story, https colon slash slash and jersey.co slash 2 shoe and 60i.